Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel for another x video. Today we're going to be going over graphic settings. I'm going to be covering all the in-game settings, the NVIDIA settings, and all the tweaks that you guys need to be running to make sure that your game is maxed out and you're getting the most out of your rig. The game's running as smoothly as possible. So yeah guys, let's just get straight into it. These are my graphic settings that I run. Full screen, obviously, you want to be in full screen so that there's no input lag. If you're on, like, windowed full screen or just regular windowed, there's going to be extra input lag. Personally, for res, I, this is a stretch resolution. I run 1720 by 1080. Most of you are going to be running native. Just one click back and you have 1720 refresh rate. Just make sure this is on max. For me, it's 240. It's the only option even available. Monitor, this is if you have multiple monitors. Most of you don't, so that's not important. You want this on for this. Um, if you have a weaker system, enabled plus boost. If you have a pretty beefy system, just leave it on enabled for brightness. Around 10, I find is nice. I also like to bump up the contrast because I find it helps me see like um, like echelon players and stuff when they're in the invis suit. You can kind of see the edges of their like, they kind of shimmer when they're invis. So I find that this makes that effect stand out a little bit more if you bump up the contrast. You want to enable DX12 render if you have um, a newer graphics card. If you have like a really old graphics card, you might want to leave this uh, to no. But if you have like NVIDIA like 10,000 series or, or older, probably just run the DX12. It, it tends to run a little bit better. Graphics quality on custom. VSync always off. Frame limit. I mean, you can have this off. If you have it on, the max is... 200 but if you have it off you can actually go way past 200 so if you get more than 200 frames you can um leave it off but if you want to limit it say you only have like a 144 hertz monitor or something you can turn it on and limit it to 144 it's fine shadow quality low spot shadow low all this low contact shadows off res scale if you turn this down you're gonna get more fps but it does kind of look pretty trash so i just leave it on 100 because i get pretty good frames already um sharpening you're gonna want to crank this up a little bit like by default i think it's on like five or something but i keep it on 10 just so that edges are really crisp and stuff and it helps with like seeing detail from really far away especially again like the invis suits kind of really pop out when you bump the sharpening up a little bit particles put this on low volumetric fog low all this low low off low subterface off parallax no ambient no object detail you're going to want to keep this maxed uh extra streaming distance this is like um how far your um view distance is so you're going to want to max this out so that people that are way way far across the map are, are going to like load in properly and they're not going to look all blocky lens flares obviously turn this off this is super distracting Water quality low, chromatic aberration, just turn that off, it's distracting. High res, you don't need sky textures, turn them off, terrain low, and apply, apply, and then yeah, that's all the uh, in-game graphic settings that you guys should be running if you wanna make sure that your game is running as fast as possible. All right, and moving on to tweaks that we can do outside of the game, we're gonna navigate to our desktop and go to the NVIDIA control panel. Here we're going to start in resolution, we're going to make sure that we're on our primary monitor and that we've selected the highest refresh rate, for me that's 240Hz so I'm going to select that. We're also going to navigate down and make sure that we've ticked use NVIDIA color settings, we're going to make sure we're on the highest color settings with full dynamic output range. Next we're going to go on to manage 3D settings, I'm just going to scroll through this slowly so you guys can copy it, pause if you need to stop and see anything. The important stuff is around here, so we want to make sure that we have ultra low latency mode on, fixed refresh, we want to make sure that max frame rate is set to off, we want power management to prefer max performance, high performance quality filtering, we want to allow negative LOD bias, we want anisotropic sample option, we want that on, trilinear optimization on, we want Threaded optimization on, triple buffering off, and vertical sync off. The rest of these don't matter. You can ignore them. We're also going to go to uh, desktop color settings here. If you would like some more saturated colors, you can adjust your digital vibrance. Although we're going to cover a program in a sec that's going to do this automatically if you would like. 
to not have your colors be so saturated on your desktop, but you'd still like to make your colors in game a bit more saturated, it'll do it automatically for you. And we're going to apply changes and save them. We're also going to go to adjust desktop size and position. We're going to make sure that in the scaling tab, we have the scaling mode set to full screen, perform scaling on the GPU, and we're going to check this box to override the scaling mode set by most games and programs we're going to apply those changes and then we'll save we're going to x out of that because we're done and then here is the program vibrance gui so basically how this works we're gonna tick auto start we're gonna tick that it affects the primary monitor only and that it never changes resolution so basically when you have the game open you can just come in here and grab the process this way or you can add it manually by navigating through all your files until you find where you have your xfight directory installed then just come here to the exe and click on it to add it and then it'll appear in this list and then you can adjust the in-game vibrance level and so you save that and this will change what it sets it back to when you close the game but every time if you keep this program open it will just in the background when you open a game automatically adjust your vibrance level so that your colors are a bit more saturated and then when you close the game it will set it back to your default windows vibrance level automatically you don't have to do anything uh, make sure when you close this program don't actually x out of it make sure you just minimize it and it's going to go sit in your little uh tab here so yeah just make sure you don't close that or else the program will not work and then we're going to navigate to our c drive or wherever we have the game installed we're going to go to program files scroll down until we find ubisoft i'm blind apparently ubisoft there we go game launcher we're gonna go to games x defiant scroll all the way down we're gonna find usf 7 Dot exe click on properties go to the compatibility tab we're going to disable full screen optimizations and we're going to click change high dpi scaling settings we're going to override it on the application click ok click apply click ok so yeah guys that's it that's all the graphic settings you need to know to make sure that your game is running as smoothly as possible and you're getting the most out of your system if this guide helped you at all get a little bit more fps make sure to drop a like on the video maybe share it with a friend if they're also having issues with their game and yeah guys if you're looking for more extra fiant content make sure to drop a sub on the channel of course and yeah i'll see you guys when i see you guys peace